Microphone on, rolling. All right. Here we go. What's up guys? So with the new Thor movie coming out, I thought it'd be appropriate for me to do a Thor inspired build. I think some other YouTubers have made uh, some Thor hammers, the Haxmas being one. Made some cool projects, definitely go check those out. But I decided to give it a shot myself. You know, kind of put my own twist on it. That twist being a very inexpensive build using materials that were never meant to do what they're about to do. I have an idea of how I'm gonna do this. Don't have it all quite worked out. I'll explain more later, but uh, this project should be pretty cheap to make. Went ahead and got a, oh, I like that. Just point with this. Yeah. Thank you, Flinch. Yeah, went ahead and got a really crappy Thor hammer off of the internet, it's just plastic, but the important thing is it resembles a Thor hammer on the outside. Um, looks pretty cool, but not anything special as of now. So we're gonna take this really cheap children's toy and uh, modify it into something that's super dangerous and should not be allowed probably within 100 feet of children. It's kind of my specialty. Probably cut the two ends off, fit some uh, electronic components that, that allow it to produce some sort of electricity thinking putting some bolts like in rows along here would be really cool. Uh, so let's go get our materials and uh, do this build. All right guys, so we're on the way to the store to get bolts. Uh, I'm thinking around like 12 bolts. Uh, we're gonna connect six of them together with wire and then the other six with wire as well. So we'll have uh, two terminals together uh, where we can hook up the electrodes. It's the plan, let's do it. All right guys, so at this point we've wired all of the electrodes to the actual Thor hammer itself. Uh, now we just need a power source. So I've been thinking about what I could use. Um, I could go the standard route and use a taser. These things, uh, battery powered, but have high voltage electricity. Could use this, it would jump from the two terminals and when you hit something it would give it a pretty big shock. Or I actually thought of another idea and that was to use a microwave transformer. So my ingenious idea, wait for it, ready? We use both. So on one side, we'll have the taser attached to the terminals, and then flip it around on the other side, we'll have the microwave transformer. I could attach both to both. Don't want to mix up that wiring. I don't know if the two electronics would mess with each other. Microwave transformer puts out a dangerously high voltage, so uh, definitely want to be careful when playing with that, limiting the amount of points of contact. 
um, probably a good thing. The only downside of the microwave transformer is it requires an AC power source. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to have like a plug adapter somewhere in here. Obviously the microwave transformer will put out a ton more power, but as I said, it has to be plugged in the wall. So that's why we're using both. So we just finished up the Thor hammer. It is a lot heavier now. Doesn't look it, but uh, probably about 10, 15 pounds. Solid plastic. We have the taser side of the hammer on this side. So uh, when we turn on the taser, it will just arc between these two things. And whenever we touch like anything conductive, uh, we'll get a huge zap. And that works, obviously. You don't have to have it plugged in anywhere. The switch for that is right over here. You just kind of flip it on like this. There's that super loud taser, like aggressive sound. Uh, so we'll test that out later. And to charge it, uh, you can see we've got these uh, charging prongs that fold in here. Screwdriver like this and uh, just pry out the charging prongs. And then you just plug this into an outlet, casually just like stick this into a wall. It's like, oh no, don't mind me, just charging my Thor hammer. Yeah, it's one way of doing it. And when you're done, they just fold away like that. And uh, the Thor hammer is back to looking like Thor hammer. That is the taser side, but if we flip it around, ha. <sighs> to the uh, Transformers side. that would be a cool movie, Thor versus Transformers. See, this side right here, this is this is the fun side, actually the danger side. Um, you can see we've already got some scorch marks right here from me uh, testing it out a little bit. So the way this works, as you saw, we uh, ripped apart a microwave and harvested the Transformer and uh, stuck it in here. Yeah, that's pretty much what we did. If you don't know what a Transformer does, it pretty much just steps up the voltage, or it can actually step down the voltage and step up the amps if you use a Thick, a very thick cable and, a, and like one winding. I don't know how much I actually want to get into this. Um, the fundamentals of like electromagnetism. The transformer is made of like two windings around a uh, solid like metal body. Um, so through like magnetic force and induction and like whenever charge is put through like windings, it creates a magnetic field. But there's two sets of windings. The more turns the other set of windings has means like the higher voltage with less amps. Um, or if you have like just a few sets of winding, then it'll be very high amperage and not as many volts but still a ridiculous amount of power. Very, very careful when using this. From the thin wired cable out to here, these are the ones that uh, produce the high voltage. And then we took the uh, other two cables and wired it into an AC power plug, which is uh, connected, this is heavy, connected down into this uh, handle right here. Just grab an extension cord and plug it into the bottom and uh, you can play around with your uh, microwave transformer Thor hammer. I also have a switch to turn on the electricity to go to the transformer. Right here, just kind of flip it like that on off all right guys so this is pretty much the best i could do in terms of uh thor just picture me with like really long blonde hair yeah jesus thing does weigh it's like a ton though that's probably how thor gets so strong curls with his hammer hammer curls let's test this thing on some shit first up this metal chair uh let's test the uh portable taser stuff first flip the on switch I think that worked. What's 
uh, flip it around, move on to the transformer. Um, got some gloves right here just uh, for protection because I'm not trying to electrocute myself. All right, let's plug this in and do this. Oh my God, this is off to a great start. Whoa, you guys check this out. Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you appreciated uh, this build. We got two sources of electricity in here for mobile and uh, just raw power. Uh, went the extra mile for you guys, so uh, please leave a like if you did enjoy it. And uh, also hit that subscribe button if you're not already to be updated on uh, new videos I'm releasing all the time. Uh, leave your ideas down in the description of uh, cool stuff you want to see me make in the future. Follow my Instagram, why not? Uh, and I'll link this like really crappy Thor hammer toy that uh, uh, I got down in the description below. Honestly, pretty cheap build to make uh, if you can find a busted microwave. A lot of times you get these for free. Uh, plus the tasers are not very expensive as well, so you can do this on the cheap if you want. Uh, but be very careful if you do try this yourself. I don't want to be responsible if you shock yourself. So that's pretty much all I've got to say. Wait, one more plug, huh? No pun intended. Uh, Patreon link in the description as well. Yeah, if you want, you'll get your name written up on that wall. You wrote a few down already, taken a few off. The point is really just to help me make better videos for you guys. Um, so yeah, link in the description uh, if you want to go check that out. Anyway guys, that is pretty much all I have for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.